In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.21. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser and you want to start off by looking up Lightmatica download just like so and go to the official moderate.com website just like this, then go ahead and press on download. Then where it says select game version, make sure to select the 1.21.9 and where it says select platform, go ahead and select on fabric just like so. Then go ahead and press on download. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see the file being downloaded on the top right like me, but if you don't, what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads now for clarity purposes i recommend that you drag and drop the lightmatica file to your desktop just like so and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up another tab and this time you want to look up Mali lib right over here i believe that is how you pronounce it i'm not 100 sure but this is the accompanying mod that you will need in order to run lightmatica so go to the official modern.com website right over here then go ahead and press on download then where it says like game version make sure to select on 1.21.9 then go ahead and select on fabric, then press on download just like so. Then go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like this. So if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24-7 unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. The best part about having a Simple Game Hosting server is that you can customize every single aspect of your server. You can make it crossplay, Java only, Bedrock only, etc. You can also add mods, mod packs, plugins. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So guys, if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment all right guys that's enough yapping out of me so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up another tab and the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and look up fabric download so we will use the fabric mod loader in order to run these mods so please make sure to go to the official fabricmc.net website right over here then go ahead and press on download then go ahead and press on download universal jar and drag and drop it to your desktop just like so now, the next thing you want to do is you want to double check that you have Java installed on your system. So if you do not have Java installed on your system, it is really important and critical that you download it because anything modern Minecraft related is going to require Java. So luckily downloading Java is incredibly easy. So if you haven't downloaded Java yet, then all you want to do is you want to open up a new tab, then go ahead and look up Java download Oracle just like so and go to the official oracle.com website right over here. Now just double check that JDK21 is selected, then go ahead and select on your operating system so you can download Java whether you're on Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I'll go ahead and select on that. Then I would download the x64 installer right over here, and then it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard and everything like that. And it really doesn't take too long, and it's completely free to download Java, but you may need to restart your device in order for Java to be applied. All right, so another thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure you have Fabric API down downloaded so that is the accompanying mod that goes with fabric so open up another tab then just look up fabric api download right over here then go to the official modern.com website just like so then go ahead and press on download then where it's the select game version make sure 1.21.9 is selected then it's automatically going to select on fabric then go ahead and just press on download then just drag and drop it to your desktop okay so at this point you should have five different things number one you should have java you should have fabric api fabric installer Motley Lib and Lightmatica. So once you have this, then you are good to go. So what you want to start off with is you want to go ahead and right click on fabric installer, then select on open with. And if you did download Java, like I previously mentioned in this video, you're going to see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that just like so. Then it is going to open up a pop-up that looks like this and just double check that Minecraft version 1.21.9 is selected. Then make sure that the box that says create profile is turned on. Then go ahead and press on install, then press on OK, close out of the fabric installer and open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. All right, then just double check that Minecraft Java edition is selected, then go to the top menu and press on installation just like so. Now over here where it says versions, make sure that the box that says modded is turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. Then in this list over here, you should see the option that says fabric loader. And all you want to do is you want to press on the open installations folder just like so. Then a bunch of folders like this will appear. But all you want to do is you want to scroll down until you locate a folder called mods in all lowercase. Yep, here it is. And if for whatever reason you do not see it, do not panic. All you need to do is you need to make the mods folder yourself by right clicking, pressing on new and then folder and then calling the folder mods in all lowercase. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to open up the mods folder just like so. And now all you want to do is you want to minimize the Minecraft launcher and then go to your desktop. Okay. 
Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to drag and drop the Light Matica mod inside of our mods folder. And same thing with Ma Li Lib and also Fabric API. So drag and drop all of that inside of this folder just like so. So in total, we are going to have three mods over here. Then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of your mods folder. Go over here to where it says Minecraft Launcher. Go ahead and select on Play. And the version selector to make sure that fabric loader is selected then go ahead and press on play just like so and then it is automatically going to open up minecraft all right guys so here we are loaded into minecraft and yep you're going to notice that it is going to say fabric right over here then mod it in parentheses and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and load into any minecraft world all right guys so here we are in lightmatica and in order to begin using lightmatica all you need to do is you need to get a wooden stick just like so and as you're able to tell we do have like the entire menu and stuff like that so that is definitely going to come in handy so if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers see you later french fries